Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. So today we continue with a new chapter which is on digital filter structures. Okay, so in this chapter, uh, you will learn on the Z transform of given HN or from the given difference equation that consists of input and output. So our input is actually Xn and our output is Yn. Okay, from the determine Hz or the given Hz, okay, you can sketch the filter structures. Okay, so basically, uh, by hook, by hook, you have to make sure that your transfer function must be in Hz so that you can sketch the, the filter structure. Okay, and that's Okay, in this chapter also, you will explore the filter structure of FIR and IIR filter. Okay, so for digital filter structures, okay, we have the general equation, we have the general transfer function of digital filter structure. Okay, as you can see, we have his Z transfer function. So, Hz is described by the relationship of input and output. Okay, so input is Xn and output is Yn. Alright, so if you look at this transfer function, the Hz transfer function for denom denominator part, okay, the transfer function, I mean that part, that function, the denominator part is start from 1. Okay, so this for this part, the, this constant, constant must always equal to 1. Okay, so what happens if the value is not equal to 1? So what you have to do is actually you have to do factorization in order to make sure that part is equal to 1. Okay, so under digital fault filter structure, we have two types of filter as you learn in chapter 10. Okay, you know that you have FIR and IIR filter. So, for FIR filter, okay, we have convolution sum and then we have linear constant difference equation. So, basically, if you look here, okay, for convolution sum and linear difference equation, constant difference equation for FIR filter, the output is equal to the summation of the input. But, if you look at the IR filter for convolution and linear constant difference equation, you have you can see we have the combination variety of I mean variety of values of input and output. Okay, so from here also, uh, I know that you can really see that IR filter has fewer coefficient compared to FIR filter okay so because of that in this chapter we're going to concentrate more on IIR filter all right so next we move to general general block diagram so we have two types of general block diagram one for FIR filter another one is for IIR filter so if you look at the block diagram, the for FIR filter, since our previous linear constant difference equation is quite, I mean, you can see input equal to the summation of the, I mean, sorry, output equal to summation of the input. Okay, so because of that, if you look at the general block diagram, you can see we have only one one component one part which is actually the input part okay and then you have the yn but for ir filter you can see two parts for the input okay we have one for numerator part another one for denominator part okay and the output is yn so if you you look here for denominator part, we have minus a n minus a n minus one minus a two minus a one. So why we have minus? Minus is just to say that okay, it's referring to denominator part. 
Okay, denominator pi is actually at the below part. So, because of it is at the below, so we need to bring it up. Okay, so, and it is actually at the uh, different direction. That is why you have minus. Okay, to show that that particular coefficient, it is at the reverse direction. Okay, existent. In, in the real, I mean, in the in the general transformation, it is actually at denominator part. But when we want to design, we want to put it uh, at the same level, denominator and numerator. So for, for us to describe that particular components or particular uh, constant is referring to uh, denominator part, so we put minus minus to represent that that coefficient represent the denominator part all right so if you look at this slide also i put for ir filter uh, uh, for convolution sum it is impractical to implement due to infinite impulse sample okay so there are two ways of actual implementation okay first via software or computer programming and another technique is via hardware construction so basically how to make a choice okay so this is really dependent on the application dictated by sampling period or bandwidth or Nyquist frequency I hope you still remember from chapter 4 about the Nyquist rate theorem. Alright, so basically, uh, for these digital filter structures, we have many types of structure. Okay, one of the structure is direct form structure. So, there is a drawbacks and limitation of direct form implementation of digital filters. Okay, so... All coefficient, input or output, and delay sequences cannot be represented in an infinite precision but limited to finite word length. Okay, quantization of coefficient leads to finite word length effect. Okay, so because of that, finite word, word, word length effect caused by round of or truncation of coefficient that result sum of error associated with the actual impulse response or frequency response of the filter required okay one of another reason i mean the cause that affect the finite word length is because of round off or truncation of output of multiplier that will also contribute to some form of noise at the output of the filters Okay, furthermore, overflow due to the multiplication effects on the stable IR filters may result in them becoming unstable, for example, as if it limit cycle oscillations. Okay, so this is actually the drawbacks and limitation of direct form. Okay, so to reduce the drawback and limitation of direct form, okay, so we uh, uh, we introduce another kind of structure which is called cascade and parallel form okay so basically cascade and parallel form is used to reduce the effects of finite word length okay so as i show you here is actually the example of cascade form structure for your level, for your uh, for undergraduate level, you don't have to worry about parallel form, okay? Alright. So, in this chapter, you're going to learn on digital filter structures. Okay, so we have two types of filter. Okay, FIR filter and IIR filter. So, since FI filter, we have uh, a lot of coefficients. So, for this chapter, we concentrate on IIR filter, okay? But for both filters, uh, there are three types of structures. We have direct form, we have cascade form, and parallel form, 
Okay, so now just focus on IR filter. Reason? Because IR filter has fewer coefficient compared to FIR filter. Alright, so okay, let's start. Okay, we have direct form, we have cascade form, we have parallel form. So, parallel form, we can just ignore. Okay, not ignore, but just for a time being, alright? So, we just concentrate on direct form and cascade form. So, under direct form, we have two types, direct form 1 and direct form 2. So, Direct form 1 is also known as direct non-canonic form and direct form 2 is known as direct canonic form. Okay, so what is the difference between these two forms? Okay, direct form 2 is needed if the question uh, needs you to implement any structure with less number of coefficient or components. Meaning that Okay, we have a less number of uh, component inside means this, uh, we have the total number of component less compared to direct form 1. Okay, and then if you look here, we have direct non-canonic, direct canonic. Okay, non-canonic and canonic. Non-canonic means not combine delay component. Canonic means we need to combine the delay component. Okay, so same goes to cascade form. We have cascade non-canonic form. We have cascade canonic form. Okay, so basically same thing. Okay, you need to sketch uh, cascade canonic form if the question stated that you have to implement the last number of coefficient of component structure. Okay, so again same thing. Non-canonic represent you have to, you cannot combine the delays. I mean, uh, for numerator, it has its own delay. But for denominator, it has its own delay too. But when you see the words canonic, canonic means you need to combine the delay. So when you need to combine the delay, means denominator and numerator will share the same delay. Okay, I will show this one after this. Uh, on the structure itself okay so next we move to direct form one okay so for you to design the filter you need to have a transfer function okay and your transfer function is hz so how to determine hz hz is equal to yz over xz okay so basically yz is your numerator Z is your denominator. Okay, so if you look at this structure, we have at your right, okay, right side, near close to output, okay, we have numerator part. But uh, another part which is close to Xn, your input, okay, this part is actually the denominator part. So basically, if you look at this structure, for numerator part, uh, the constant is actually positive constant. But for, for denominator part, you can see here we have minus a1, minus a2, minus a n. Okay, so minus represent that this part is actually represent the denominator part. Okay. So, this is what I say before. Okay, direct form 1 is also known as direct non-canonic form. So, basically, if you look at this structure, numerator has its own delay. Denominator has its own delay. Okay? Alright. Another, another, another one more thing. What is important in uh, filter structure? Okay, if you look at this line. Okay, minus 1. Okay, uh, sorry, this line, the straight line. Okay, this straight line, okay, beside the SN is always equal to 1. Why? It is a straight line. So, if you still remember from the given transfer function, HZ. Okay, so from the HZ, you can see 
uh, for denominator part, the the first constant value is e always equal to one. That is why this one is red line. Okay, and for b not b one b two b m. Okay, even the value is equal to one, you still have to sketch. You still have to draw this constant symbol. Okay. Only this part, okay, one, okay, beside Sn. This line, this red line is actually to represent that this part belongs to denominator part. Alright, so next, we move to direct form 2. So if you look at direct form 2, the structure is actually similar to direct form 1, just that. For direct form 2, you, we need to combine the delays. Means, numerator and denominator will share the same delay. That is why direct form 2 is also known as direct canonic form. Alright, so next we move to cascade form. Okay, so if you look at this transfer function, same thing, we have the hz transfer function with the numbers in numerate denominator part is always equal to 1. And then for cascade, okay, by definition, cascade means we have to distribute, we have to separate, okay. So this time around for cascade form, we are going to separate, we have to group, okay, group the function, the transfer function according to orders, okay means we are going to uh, divide the transfer function into first order, second order, third order and so on. Alright, so basically for cascade uh, form structure, it consists of the division, the division of several orders. Okay, alright, so if you can see here, the block diagram, okay, we have input. And then from the input, we have first order going to second order, going to third order until whatsoever orders. And then we have our output. So basically, for you to sketch the cascade diagram, first thing first, what you have to do is you need to divide your transfer function into several orders or section. Okay, by means for this one, you need to do factorization. Okay, let's say you cannot easily factorize the transfer function. What you have to do is actually you need to do long division. Okay. Okay, next. Based on the separated orders, okay, you can sketch your cascade diagram. Alright. For cascade canonic IIR filter, okay, as you can see here. Alright, for cascade canonic IIR, you can see the terms canonic. Canonic means we are going to share the same delay. Share the same delay for numerator and denominator. So, if you look here, for, for cascade canonic, it is actually similar to direct form 2 structure. Okay, but now we are going to separate them. Instead of we have three delays now we are going to have two separate diagram i mean two separate blocks one for first order block second is on second order blocks okay so if you look here again we still have straight line okay straight line beside sn why straight line represent that that one is referring to that denominator part okay and then in this structure also we have minus minus is just to show that to differentiate that that particular constant is actually uh, referring to denominator part all right so again i want to emphasize cascade means we are going to divide our transfer function means we divide our transfer function according to the orders Okay, next we have cascade non canonic IR filter for cascade non canonic. Non canonic means 
not combine delays. So if you look at this structure, okay, for first order, okay, this is the first order. So first order, we didn't combine the delays. Means denumerator and numerator has its own delay. But, and for second order, numerator and denominator, denominator has its own delay. Alright, that's all for chapter 8. Okay, thank you.